from NBC News, this is Today. And we're back with more of Today in our Forever Young series. Mm -hmm. If you ever think that you uh, look older than you feel and you don't want to deal with the nips and the tucks or the injections or I don't know that there's anything wrong with any of that. However, this gentleman's going to tell us there is. Robert Jones has got some help for us. He's the author of Looking Younger, Makeovers That Make You Look As Young As You Feel because that is a big, big problem. What's your inside age? My inside age is probably 20. Yeah. I think I'm about 20 yeah. inside. I'm 18. How old are you, Robert? 12. <laughs> All right, good. Robert, can you seriously take years off with makeup? Because that I, I, I had trouble believing it when I heard about the you, segment. You can, and it's it's not a matter of covering everything up. It's a matter of making great choices that bring out what you want to bring out. I think so many women get caught up in trying to cover up things as they age rather than choosing to focus on what they like about themselves. And yeah, so they usually make the mistake, I'm so sorry, honey, because I'm much older than her, so I should speak first. She is. <laughs> of, of, of thinking that, that uh, more, more makeup is better, and, and nothing looks more garish than too much makeup. Right. Exactly. And that's, once again, it's about color choices, because lots of times when it looks like more is when they've chosen things that are too dark, too intense, which too strong. Which makes you look older. Which older. makes you look older, and, exactly. Dark lipstick makes you look older, too? Dark lipstick immediately ages you. Okay. Yes. Let's take a before shot of Angela. Angela Who is, is a gorgeous. gorgeous Gorgeous, woman. 50 years old. What was your issue with uh, with Angela? Well, with Angela, I really are with any woman. Mm -hmm. It's it's about creating a more even skin tone. They actually did studies, and wrinkles aren't what make people perceive you as older. It's a, it's actually discoloration in your skin. Let's look at the after what you did to Angela. Oh, no, so that's just a matter flawless. of evening it Hello? out, but not covering it up with heavy, thick anything, uh -huh. and, and giving her a glow. Yeah. It, it's about knowing what what type of product you need. There's so many out there, and that's why in the book I spend a whole chapter just on product knowledge, so that you know what type of foundation you need. What does your skin need? Is it oily? Is it dry? And also you need to keep in mind that as you age, your needs may change. So and what do you so do? Because your skin age, changes. Your skin it does. Changes. It does change. But Robert, let me ask you. So let's say I'm watching this on TV. I say, gosh, I want that kind of skin. What, what can I do to, to get that? I chose the correct shade of concealer and foundation for it, as well as the right formula. Is the concealer lighter? How much lighter should it be than your skin you tone? You never want it to be one sh more than one shade lighter than you your skin. You don't want to see it. You don't you want don't to see, see it. it. It's called concealer, so you can <laughs> conceal it. Do you, like, do you is, like your look? I love it. If you it look, is lighter than your natural shade, you need to use it before your foundation. And I love that her lips are so neutral. I think yes. that is just yeah. beautiful. Beautiful. We uh, think you are fabulous. Gorgeous. Oh, and you're gorgeous you. before, thank by you, the way. You. Okay, our next model. You're just this gorgeous. This is Carol. Let's take a look at Carol before. Carol before. And the issue with Carol, we're talking about color here, right, Robert? Yes, I think so many, many, many women make the wrong color choices. And Carol is stereotypical to a woman, uh, color-wise, hair and skin, that would choose, I find they choose to tend, choose to, uh, tend Look. to choose yeah. berries, Browns. Let's and look at instead, the after. Let's take a peek I've at the after. I've chosen soft peaches oh, and warm apricots. Look at the palette on here, though. Just look how and delicious it, it that is. It wakes anyway. her face up. It gives her yeah. a glow. Robert, it's about nice, warm, beautiful shades. Who can use this palette? What types of skin? Every type of skin. Really? Every type of so skin. So. We could yes. use it here. She's and got this here. on her cheeks. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So it's important if you, especially if you have the contrast with the dark hair and the lighter skin that you take. Right. Here. And 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 like I said, stereotypically, this this coloring of woman tends to choose darker shades, and you never want your blush to be any darker than what you flush to naturally. So if you were to run around the block, the shade you flush to, oh. you don't want it to be any darker than that. Can you show us where you're supposed to put blush? Because I don't think people yes. sometimes make well, you big can clown do a, circles. A little so darker one under the cheekbone, couldn't you? And then like a well, little. Well, but that's what you do with bronzer, and yes. that's another thing. I think every woman needs bronzer, okay. and not enough women have it. That's what this is all about. First, I use my bronzer, a uh -huh. little bit underneath the cheekbone, give her for a glow contour. for contour right. to give her that really kind of glowy look, uh -huh. and then I just popped my blush on the apples of her cheek. That's it. Yeah, right here. Yes, just show to give her. Show. It's a little bit. So if I'm at home watching, hold right on. Yeah. Well, let's Get see. The hair out of the way. Where does it go? Just smile right and there. pop on the apples of the cheeks, and that's what gives you that. You know, and had you a good be, night last night, whether you did or not. But you, you got to be careful <laughs> that was about our it. That first segment, all right? We're under a second. Sorry. But you got to be backed up a little. You got to be careful, Robert, too much, though. That's important. You do too. have to be careful too much. And you'll find your brighter shades. If you'll buy them in a sheer formula, right. it'll be much easier for you to apply them. Okay. Yeah. All right, we have another one coming up. Let's look at Tracy before. Um, what are we focusing Tracy? on when you look at Tracy's before? The one thing that no woman should ever not do 
is curl her lashes. Curling your lashes. You is have the, to curl your lashes. You have to. It's the quickest, fastest facelift you can I get. Have fake lashes no, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the quickest, fastest facelift you can get. It opens the eye up, lifts everything. Let's it's look at the after. Lift. Let's see this instant facelift. Mm -hmm. wow, oh yeah. Beautiful. It just opens. But you the did whole all the other up. things too, like with the first ladies. It's all yes. evened out skin tone. It's a lovely uh, blush to the cheek. Exactly, and also. As we age, yes. mm -hmm. um, our lids tend to start to fall, and mm -hmm. you need to start using Everything shadow. Everything starts to fall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's From just the concentrate lids on the lids. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just talk about the lids. Um, <laughs> using a little bit richer tone, uh, mid tone shadow will help push that lid back and open the eye up as well. And harsh lines. So many people use harsh right. lines. Dramatic. It should be smoky. It should be soft. Small, soft, soft and smoky. And mascara, mascara, Mas mascara. Top mascara. and bottom? Top and bottom. Just really? can't emphasize it Wait, enough. Wait, no. If you're going to have a party, have a big one. <laughs> Black mascara. What about Lots fake eyelashes? I love fake eyelashes. You do? Do you wear? What do you wear? You wear? Oh, a few these are all little. mine. <laughs> I've got some fake ones, <laughs> and they're fun to wear. It changes the whole the whole look. It we, immediately it immediately wakes your face up. Yeah. Now Tracy's 43. We should point out Carol's 48. And how Angela old? Was 50, Angela's yeah. 50. I mean, everyone really overall, you really did take years off. Is this something that people at home can do on their own? They can so easily do, and that's why in the book I go over it so much. It's about, as we talked about, the right color choices, putting them where they belong. It's about choosing what's best for you, and warmer shades always make you look younger. Okay, Robert, thank you. And that's not good advice. Too much. Thanks not too so much. much Robert. All right, ladies, thank you all so much as well. All righty. Uh, up next, what yeah. do we have, Ms. Hodel? We're going to talk about luxury hotels and some of the secrets. That that's one of the secrets actually. <laughs> We're gonna show you what you can do in your own home. Don't you ask. Do your pillow now. Don't your ask. Kids. <laughs>